All right, so. So in question three, we got Lucy uh, sliding down from rest down a playground slide that's four meters long. Um, so the I should probably draw this more like an actual straight line just to simplify things a little bit. Okay, so the slide is four meters, yeah. Slide makes a 40 degree angle with the horizontal. At the bottom, at point B, Lucy reaches a speed of 3.2 meters per second, and it's 40 centimeters off the ground. information that we're given in the question. Right away with these two point questions where you're dealing with transformations of energy, you should always draw a little silly diagram like this just to outline the, uh, the situation just so you can get a visual representation of it. Um, we want to know how much work was done by friction on Lucy. The way we're going to attack these questions, this is actually not a conservative system. The title of the uh, worksheet is a little misleading. This is actually a non-conservative system. We're actually trying to figure out how much energy was lost as Lucy goes down the slide. So we got to figure out the difference in total energy at point A and compare it uh, between points A and B. All right, so if we look at point A, what types of energy does Lucy have? What's that? Yeah, gravitational potential. Does she have any kinetic? No. No. Okay, great. So step one. Total energy is just gravitational potential. Uh, we got to do a little side calculation here, actually. We got to figure out what the height is. Uh, so just using some uh, Sokotoa trig here. We've got the hypotenuse of the triangle. We were solving for the opposite. Yeah, Sammy, you're right. It's uh, We're going to use sine. So if we set that up, sine 40 equals h over 4. So h equals 4 sine 40. Thank you. Someone just got to that for me. Casey? Uh, 2.57. 2. 2. Okay. Um, that's the height of the slide itself, but we still have to add that uh, 0. 0.4 meters at the bottom. Okay, so we'll call this H total.
All right, so that's the total height from the ground up to the top of the slide. So going back into going back to calculate uh, EG, now we have enough information. How much did Lucy weigh? 15 kilograms? That's a tiny bit. We got 437 joules. So that's how much energy she develops uh, in just climbing up the ladder to the top of the slide. Then we got to the, go to point B at the bottom of the slide. Which two types of energy does she have? The only two that we've actually discussed. Yeah, kinetic and gravitational. Duplicating variables. I'm going to call this EG1 up here and we'll call this EG2 down here. enough information for to calculate everything on the right hand side. I'm going to leave the units out just because I'm running out of space. Thirty-six jewels. All right, so we've we're, we've done all our main calculations here. The total energy at the top of the slide was four hundred thirty-seven joules, just based on her height above ground. When she hit the bottom of the slide, she still had a little bit of gravitational potential energy, based on the point four meter height from the bottom of the slide. And she had some kinetic energy based on the 3.2 meters per second that was given. That was her speed when she went off the bottom of the slide. So when we add up those two uh, values from the bottom of the slide, we only get 136 joules. So some energy was lost along the way. And it's just simple subtraction at that point. Ideally, what would happen is as that gravitational potential energy decreased, her kinetic energy would increase at the same rate. Um, but that's not what's happening here. So the, her uh, gravitational potential energy is decreasing, but not at the same rate that the kinetic energy is increasing. All right, so some of that energy that's being, that's de some of that decreasing gravitational potential energy is not being converted to kinetic. It's being lost in friction. Yeah, 
And that's the answer for... Well, that's the whole answer. So if there was no friction, then it would equal zero. That's right, yeah. If there was no friction, if this was a conservative system, these two values would have been the same. ET2 would have equaled ET1. Any other questions?